Ghana has a very rich culture and history that needs to be cherished otherwise it will fade out and just become a distant memory. Ghanaian traditional games which also form part of their culture are often classified as being either indoor type or outdoor type. Outdoor games such as chaskele requires a good deal of running and the expenditure of physical energy. Indoor games such as oware requires less physical movement than outdoor games and are often competitions of intellectual capacity. These games are very entertaining to play. However, due to modernization, those games are going into oblivion. Unfortunately, we barely see most of these games being played by kids in recent years. Some other traditional games are Tomato, Ludu, Kopewan, Ampe, Dame, Spa, Countess Ball, and many more. Moving on further, we will discuss more on Countess Ball. For those of us who were born in the rural areas where you can find many kids, I guess we have experienced this fun childhood football game. Background History of Countess Ball Countess Ball is a childhood football game which was a replica of an exciting football match. However, the covers of bottles, counters, serve as players and the balls used include turkey berries and cow pea. Also, a paper or a wood was used to make poles. The park was drawn on mostly a smooth surface with either a chalk or charcoal. The game is arranged like a formation on a football park and can be played by two people at a time. Participants take turns in hitting their counters with their hand to get the ball into the opponent's goal post. Rules of the game 1. No player is allowed to play twice consecutively, otherwise it's a foul. 2. When the ball crosses the boundaries, it's either a goal, corner or thrown in. 3. When the ball hits any part of the participant's body at the playground, then a foul. How the game is played. After the game, the first concept that came about was the concept of measurement. So, on the football field, we can measure the length and width, including the 18 yards and 16 yards balls. We can also measure the entire linear distance around the circle, which is also known as the circumference. With this idea, we can find the area and perimeter of the field. Another mathematical concept that is derived in a game of counters ball is the concept of a circle and its parts. The circular shape which is drawn around the center of the pitch is called the circle. From the center, any line which is drawn to touch any part of the circumference is called the radius. Twice the radius will give us a diameter. When you carefully divide the circle into two equal halves, it will give you a semicircle.
you can also consider the concept of geometry from the game. In the game, the football court drawn represents a shape of a rectangle. The 18 yards and the 16 yard box are also in the form of a rectangle. In front of the 18 yard box is a semicircle. The circle located in the center of the field and also the positions of the players are all forms of The game also talks about the concept of counting. For us to know whether the number of players selected are up to the exact total number, which is 22, we need to count to determine as well as the number of players each team is supposed to have, which is 11.